Charlemagne, heart of local sports activity. At first sight, it seems like a nightmare to be there on racing day. The endless queues at the bookmaker, the scorching poultry's heat, and the crowd of noises making every other sound inaudible. However, the Charlemagne is more than what it seems to be. More than a Saturday hobby, more than just horses running on a field. It has long worked on gathering the population as a whole, beyond their differences. Ever since its inception in 1812, the race track has attracted thousands of horse racing fanatics from all around the island. Under the leadership of Sir Robert Fauquois, the first British governor of Mauritius, construction of the historical place began. The Charlemagne, an untold history with questions yet to be answered. More than a racetrack, it was built as a reconciliation ground between the French settlers and their rival British colonizers in quest for land ownership. The leader at the time, Governor Falcois, as an act of good faith towards the French, ordered the construction to be done around the obelisk of ex-French governor Malotic. And it is in this good faith, this togetherness, this unity, that binds all Mauritians as one people and as one nation, even to this day. The Charlemagne is not just the oldest hippodrome in the southern hemisphere, it is the oldest link that exists among all Mauritians, irrespective of cultural and ethnic background. The anticipation of the crowd as the horses enter the starting gate, and the excitement that flows through one's veins when a horse has won the race, can be felt by each and everyone. Even after the independence of the island, which was proclaimed on this very spot in the presence of the last British governor, Sir John Shaw Rennie, the whole struck became a Saturday habit for all of us Mauritians. No matter what differences people may encounter with one another, the hippodrome is the neutral ground. Only the race matters. Even if the Charnemores might never reach the peak attendance it recorded in 1984 for the Maiden Cup, where more than 100,000 of people answered present, every race is still fervently followed through its modern ways. It is ingrained in the Mauritian culture itself. Similar to how the Charnemores bound British and French together at the time, to this day it still maintains a tight bond on all Mauritians.